Radio Shouting. Mm-hmm. Lastly, advice for the next Earth guy that coming out of the hood trying to figure out how they can achieve what you achieve. Go hard and you better have real passion and love for what you're doing. If you're trying to be the next Irv Gotti, Irv Gotti has passion and love for everything he does, which makes me go so hard for it, which makes me able to speak passionately about it because that's how I really feel. Mm-hmm. So if you're trying to be the next me, you better one, love what you're doing, whichever, whichever field you're trying to conquer, you gotta love it, love it, love it. And then two, are you really ready to put in the work mm-hmm. in like overtime, overtime? Like I'm what I'm what you call a lifer. I don't have office hours. Mm-hmm. I just go. I'm going. That's right. If whatever needs to be done, I'm going. Exactly. So if you ain't got that love and passion, you ain't gonna be there. Got it. Exactly. <laughs> Let me jump in here with one more too, because I forgot this one in my notes. Yeah. When Nas and Jay Z got into it, man. What was that like when Jay was your man and you know and Nas and all hell is breaking loose in New York? It's one of my biggest regrets is trying to sign Nas. Nas is my man and Nas is my friend and this is no disrespect to him, but Jay was like, I've known Jay since 87. Mm-hmm. With me, when I did that, it caused a great strain with me and Jay. Mm-hmm. And rightfully so. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't have did that. I should have held my friendship in a bigger regard than what I did with trying to sign up. Like I made super ugly. I made super ugly with it. <laughs> and two months after super ugly, Nas is in the studio making the pledge and I'm trying to, you know, sign Nas. So it was a bit, that's, that's something I regret. If I could tell young Irv, I would be like, don't do it. Just, just keep, just keep Nas as your friend, but mm-hmm. don't do that. 